Hi again guys, we're back with another Perfect Faces snippet video. Uh, this one is applying powder. As I said, I would have done another video showing how we apply powder with a wedge sponge applicator. One of these, or you can use a powder puff or a blending, you know, those little blender thingies. Now I've already done this side of my face. Um, and to those of you who have seen the previous video, um, or you can always take a look at it. You will see how much more matte this application is than when applied with a brush. So I'm going to apply on this side. So this is just the liquid foundation in chiffon. And I'm going to use my powder shade satin from Perfect Faces. And we're going to again use that pat to get it into the skin and pull motion to apply it evenly. Now, do you see instantly how much more mattifying a wedge sponge applies product on? So the sponge picks up any excess oils in the skin and also applies the makeup on. Now, these sponges are not suitable for liquids, creams and powders. So again, pat, pull, we continue with that pat to get it into the skin, pull in motion. Remember, we want to always try to respect the going in an upward gradient for the face. Take a look at how matte that is. See that? So powder being used to mattify, but also it sort of brightens this foundation that I have on. It can also be used to darken or warm up your foundation. Let's go here on the nostril area where we tend to have a lot of oils in that T-zone area. And there you have it. That's your application. I have a little spot here again. Let's. So that's application of pressed powder using a wedge sponge or any sort of makeup sponge or makeup pad. You can use that to apply your powder and get a more matte finish. There you go. So until the next video, I would like you guys to like and subscribe and don't forget you can always comment and ask um, about things that you want to learn. Okay? Perfect Faces ML. Until the next time.